Removing the MacBook's Top Case by MacRecycling.com The following tools are required for complete MacBook disassembly. A small Phillips head screwdriver, a nylon probe, also known as a black stick, and a Torx driver, preferably one with different sized heads. An Apple plastic card or a plastic pick is also needed. Remove the battery by turning the latch clockwise like so, then remove the battery from the battery bay. Remove the three screws indicated here. You will notice the screw in the center is shorter than the other two. Loosen the three screws from the L bracket. These screws are captive, so they cannot be completely removed. Remove the L bracket from the battery bay. Notice the spongy material on the L bracket. When reinstalling the bracket, make sure these are tucked in completely. Remove the two outermost screws next to the battery connector. Do not remove the screws closest to the connector. There are 10 screws along the front wall of the battery bay. Remove the 2nd, 4th, 7th, and 9th screws only. Gently move each of these two levers to the left using a non-stop motion to partially eject the RAM. Note the orientation of the RAM so you can reinstall it correctly. The hard drive carrier can be removed by extracting the plastic tab like so. Gently pull the tab out to remove the hard drive. The hard drive carrier is attached by four screws like this one. Note the position of the connectors to ensure proper reassembly later. Remove the four screws attaching the hard drive to the carrier. Note the screws are installed on the sides not the bottom. Remove the two screws from the top case on the same side as the slot for the optical drive. It is not necessary to remove the corresponding screws on the other side of the top case. Remove the four screws from the back of the laptop. Note the two outermost screws are shorter than the two innermost screws. This is a close-up of the screws that were just removed. The top case is now ready to be loosened, but not removed, from the bottom case. Using either Apple's plastic tool or a plastic pick, slowly and gently run the pick around the outside of the top case in the seam between the top case and the bottom case. Do not lift up on the top case once it is free, as it will first be necessary to remove the trackpad cable. Lift up slightly on the front of the top case. You will notice four tabs along the front that correspond to the second, fourth, seventh, and ninth screws you removed from the inside of the battery bay. Slowly and gently lift up a bit on the front of the top case. You will notice a metallic strip connecting the top case to the logic board. This is extremely fragile, so very carefully and gently pull up on the plastic tab on this connector to loosen it from the logic board. Once the connector is free, lift up and away to remove the top case. This is a close-up shot of the connector just removed. 